Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to show you up uh, with this uh, Gossam Metrobot electrical safety tester, the Secretist Pro, um, against uh, electrical safety with this IEC 62353 norming, with a uh, two phase solution with these uh, adapter, with those adapter on the side um, to perform uh, the RPA measurement on uh, 10 amps basis. So uh, what we have given is uh, uh, like uh, an ID number, description type and so on. We can give them serial number as well in the device itself or in uh, the additional software which is available. So I'm going to start up this test just pressing uh, this one. Now it says uh, it's checking for the probe, if uh, this probe is connected almost. And uh, then please uh, switch on. So this is the visual inspection what we have to decline or confirm. So now it says uh, please connect the probe. I'm gonna, gonna work up with this probe now because it tells me to plug it into all earthing points, whatever we do have. Uh, now we see the measurement is active because we're just floating 2.8 amps um, against uh, the PE and uh, it's also me up uh, 5 milliamps and the limit will be with uh, 300 milliamps in uh, in that norming what we what we always perform so we're going to store this one the the good thing is as long as that bar is running on the top we do have time to move up to the next point so now we can uh, conduct the next point and press start we have as well um, remotely control units which is like uh, given automatically output. So now I've just released that one so I can move up to the next point. What you see if we don't have any contact to uh, the ground, it will not flood any current, which means it is protecting the end user on site. So if I'm plugging the one in again, you see then uh, the unit has been started almost to give in the current to the system. Um, obviously with that current we can store it. Now we're having 2 milliamps, 8 milliamps, something like that, but it's far below the... Um, so if you want to move up to the next step, now we've performed the RPI measurement, now we're performing the insulation resistance measurement, which is running automatically. Um, now again it says we need to conduct the Pro-P1 to uh, type F um, uh, from uh, the measurement side for the apply ports <coughs> now we're measuring the insulation from uh, the conducted apply ports now it gives out a warning that we need to switch on the device on the test um, so it's just confirming all these points to move ahead Now that's a manual measurement where we have multiple parts in case of we can conduct all the different types of parts and, uh, and store it on the same one. Now at the end we're going to run a functional test. So then it gives us uh, the overview and afterwards we can uh, uh, can store that one in our database. Results has been stored and then we can move up in the memory and uh, and see our um, uh, our performed tests. And uh, as well we can view this uh, this data up here to show up um, okay so what's uh, what's the initial date uh, or what's the initial data 
and what is the detailed data as well.